Yo guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of the FM Reboot. It's episode number 32 and today we're returning with a bonus episode of Season 3 as we play our final two games in the Premier League. The Toffees at home and then Spurs away on the final day as three teams go for two Champions League spots. No pressure. So of course in the last episode you saw our 1-1 draw at Turf Moor, then the exit in the Champions League semi-final to Liverpool. 2-1 away at Anfield as we lost a tie 4-1 over two legs. For those wondering who's gone to the final to face Liverpool is indeed Manchester United who overcame Barcelona in the second leg. I'll get you to that in just a moment's time. But the two games off camera as you can see uh, were a draw and a win. We started off with a credible goalless draw away at Anfield. Rode our luck a little bit towards the end but we certainly take it 0-0 there and a big point picked up. And a return to winning ways after none in our last four in all competitions with a 4-0 win over struggling Crystal Palace. Raul Jimenez missed a penalty early and then he responded with a hat-trick. Now that's the sign of a resilient man. Uh, really good to see. Scored our first converting after Pedence knocked the ball down to him. Uh, then Trin Cow got our second. Brandon Williams with an amazing cross. Roberto Carlo-esque. Uh, Carlos-esque I should say. Uh, that one with a whip to the uh, back stick. Uh, Jimenez then scored from the spot in the second half and then after Crystal Palace went down to 10 many bad his hat-trick. Pretty much directly after uh, converting after a Trincao uh, through ball, fed him through, and that was how the game would finish. So from four points picked up from six, we're still outside the top four. Now, Europa League football has been guaranteed for a long time now, but as we know, the Champions League is what we all want. Arsenal have been dragged back in to what is now a three-horse race. No one's got a game in hand. The Gunners won in midweek against Leicester City, but three points separate three teams. Us and Arsenal had a better goal difference record than Spurs, but honestly, it is so tight right now. Whoever slips up might well rue it forever. And again, we got Spurs on the final day. So I'll show you the final fixtures for everyone. Uh, as you can see, uh, Arsenal have got Burnley at home and Everton away. So tricky test there against two very decent sides. Oh, just noticing Spurs are in the Europa League final. They got Real Batiste. I always forget this. I always forget. So to be fair, if they win it, I think that fourth will still give you Champions League football anyway, to be fair. So I'm not too concerned about that. And if Spurs get the CL anyway, that's fine for them. But of course, Spurs have got Liverpool away and then us at home. So all, all three of us have got two very tough fixtures in our remaining two games. So no one's got an easy path in the final two. It is so tight. Who is your money on for third and fourth place? Come on, Wolves. I wouldn't mind the Europa League, but there's a big difference between that and the Champions League. The so first game, Everton, I don't think they can qualify for the Europa League now, and this will be our team right now. Everyone is fit, and this is our lineup. Tristan Goal, but for his like Nuri, uh, Eric, Big Chris, and Samedo, and Nevers and Forsby through the middle. Traor in Drink, Audi, and Fire Towards, and Wendy, a sports route. Jimenez, who's definitely going to win now. His third straight golden boot. 37 goals in all competitions. This season. On the bench, Bettinelli, Cody, Roberts, Ward, Prowse, Nato, Pedence, and Silva as well. First of two, it's Everton home. I think we need to win back to back to guarantee Champions League. Come on, Wolves. Yeah, Everton now can't make up the gap on Leeds, so it's officially over for them. Um, or can they? If they were to win this at 49, say Leeds lost it at 40. No, 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 it's over now. So Everton can't make a European spot for next season. So they've got nothing to play for, whereas we've got everything to play for. So as things stand, half an hour in, there's been nothing to report up until now. Come on, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Emmy Buendia beats Ducore. Eh? Whips one to the back stick. Gary Mina heads clear. And the first chance, I think, will still come to us. This highlight's been going on for a while. Wolves retaining possession well. And Traore is through and drills it past Jordan Pickford. He's been on a goal drought for a while. And I know he had that injury, but it's his first one since returning back to first team duty. And Wolves take the lead. Ait Nuri with another assist. He is an amazing fullback slash wingback in this game. And Traore blasts it through the legs of Jordan Pickford. Nats into the back of the net. And Wolves have the lead half an hour in. And as things stand, we're going fourth for at least a couple of hours. Actually, no, we're going third, aren't we? Yeah, because we'll beat Arsenal as things stand on goal difference by one because we were tied heading into the game. Haven't played especially well, though, so I'm not celebrating just yet. Things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. Okay, there we go. Second half to begin. And as I always say, never feel comfortable leading by just one because no matter how good you are, no matter what sort of form you've been in, no matter how better you might appear to be compared to your opponents, a one-goal lead is always still a one-goal lead. Hashtag Docs the Philosopher. As Everton <laughs> build from just inside our half with Ducore finding his man. And as Sinistera 
Drills it into the bottom corner. What did I just say? A one goal lead is always just a one goal lead. He's a really decent player in this game as well. Doesn't cost that much to get him from, is it Feyenoord or PSV comes from Carmen now at a Dutch side. But um, anyway, 26 minutes to go, tied at 1-1 and as things stand, we're going to fourth, but I don't think we'll be in fourth for a long time. The only thing is Spurs are away at Liverpool, so you'd think that Liverpool are favourites for that one. So the question is, do we risk losing this game by chasing a winner? Or do we just hold on to the point knowing that we'll be in fourth if Liverpool beat Spurs heading into the final day and therefore we'll only need a point on the final day against Spurs? I hate having to make these decisions because I always make the wrong ones. Like, do we really go for it or just leave it as it is? Because obviously, again, if... Oh, Pickford, what a save. If Spurs get a point at Anfield, they'll return to fourth and that means we'll need to beat them on the final day in North London. Otherwise, we'll, we'll finish fifth place. So I don't fancy our chance of winning on the final day, I really don't. So that's why I'm thinking with 10 minutes to go we should be brave and really go for it here as NATO goes on a storming run from right to left. Oh, brilliant dribbling from Pedro, the cross end bad Ivory and Jimenez! Yes! I just... <laughs> Every time I think it's time for Fabio Silva to become our first choice striker, Raul Jimenez rescues me some way or the other. Hat trick in midweek against Crystal Palace and perhaps the game winner here against Everton. Ten minutes to go. Man, oh man, the nerves right now. Everton have nothing to play for as Never sends it long and there he is, the Mexican. Sober. Brilliant ball from Ruben Neves deep inside his own half and Raul Jimenez in behind the back line. 31 years old, had a contract at the end of next season. But you best believe I'm paying the big bucks to keep him here. 30, is it 39 or 40 now for Jimenez in all competitions? Unbelievable. Well, we left it late, but once again, Raul Jimenez is the hero for Wolverhampton Wanderers. Not for the first time this season, let alone this series. Yeri Mina hits the crossbar, but that will do it. Referee will blow full time any second now. Wolverhampton Wanderers are up to third place, but the question is, for how long will we be in the top four? We've done our job, that's all we can do. Well done, lads. That was a good win for us. Again, we'll jump into third place due to the goal difference swing on Arsenal. We'll be clearer than by two. Uh, though, of course, they have the game in hand tomorrow. Spurs again play tonight at Anfield. So before we go any further, we will process through that game. Liverpool need to win and they can only manage a draw, which is good enough for me because it means on the final day... That means that Spurs must beat us in North London. Otherwise, we're guaranteed to finish above them at the very least. And again, Arsenal's game is tomorrow. They've got Burnley at home. And if they just get a point, they'll leapfrog us. But the most important thing is avoid defeat on the final day. And we've got Champions League football. So come on Burnley then. 2pm kickoff there. And, and again, Burnley right now. They're neck and neck with Leeds for that sixth and final uh, Europa League spot. And again, because of Spurs going into the Europa League final, I don't know what that means for seventh. If say Spurs win that, I don't know whether seventh will give you Europa Conference League or, or not. I'm not entirely sure. But there's emphasis on the game for both teams here. I think it should be a pretty comfortable win for Arsenal. But we shall see if Burnley does a favour. And unfortunately, they could not. 4-1. So Arsenal going to third. But again, it's not really that big of a deal. Because we know our plan doesn't change. Avoid defeat on the final day. And we've got ourselves fourth place. God. God. I don't know, though. I really don't know. I just... I'm so nervous, man. I'm so nervous. Probably even more nervous than last season. Because now we've got a taste of CL football. Do you know what I mean? We've been in it. We were in it this season. Now we know what it's like to feel the Champions League anthem when we do the draw. I don't want to go into the Europa League. I want the CL. Well, we've bottled a lot of things in this series. <laughs> there is a second point to that. We bottled a lot of things in this series, but this would be one of the biggest if we unfortunately fail to do this. All we need is a point on the final day here in North London. <laughs> I just feel so nervous. So this is it. Uh, Arsenal, as we know, we can overtake them and go into third. If they lose at Goodison Park and we win, any scoreline will do today. But I'm not bothered about third, man. It'd be great to get there, don't get me wrong. But fourth... 
suits me fine. And this is it, Spurs must beat us. We can afford a draw, but I'm so, so nervous heading into the Premier League finale. So this will be our team for the final game of the season. One slight change to our branch of war prowess, picking up a knock in training, and this will be it. Same starting 11 as the one to beat the Toffees. Patricio is in goal, the back four is like Nuri, Eric, Big Chris and Samedo and Nevers and Forsby. Through the middle, Trevor and Drink out the inside forwards and Wendy Sports. Jimenez going for goal number 40. Oh, if you could score like a last minute leveler, I think I'd be absolutely mental. On the edge, Bettinelli, Cody, Robert Shaw, Dow, Nato, Pedence, and Silva as well. In fact, it's Brandon Williams. I'd rather have him on the bench than Connor Roberts. This is it. Second and final game. And all we need is a point to keep Champions League football at Molyneux. Come on, Wolves. Now, again, don't forget, Spurs are in the Europa League final. Um, <laughs> it's always funny when I try and change to the body language and then the highlight appears straight after. Yeah, Spurs are in the Europa League final. And they've just hit the post three minutes into the game. So again, I don't know what will happen if Spurs win the Europa League final to fourth. I, I think it will mean there are five teams in the CL. Because again, that's what happened last season. Chelsea won the, the Europa League, yet we were still in the Champions League. So I'm pretty sure it means that we will have Champions League football regardless. I, I, I don't think fourth can miss out on CL regardless of what happens in European competitions. Anyway, 10 minutes into an action-packed uh, start. Trincao gets him back permanently! Barcelona, name your price to form a Barca boys linking up. And Wolves go in front in North London. Nelson Semedo with the 1-2 with Francisco and the Portuguese right side pairing give us the opening goal. What a finish from Trincao. Wolves in front, but there's a long, long way to go. And there's a corner for Spurs directly afterwards, which Morton Forsby leaps like a salmon to head away. Neres picks it up, and Alan Dombele gives it to Oliver Skip, the young midfielder, as Spurs will get their foot on the ball and look to build from just inside our half a chance to find a necessary leveller at the very least. The nerves right now. 15 minutes into the game as Ryan Sessegnon has space down the left-hand side to come into our area. Young Min Song crosses. Harry Kane shot blocked. And sometimes you just don't get the luck. Shot blocked. Committed defending. But who does the rebound fall to? David Neres. The Brazilian with a simple finish from close range. And Spurs peg us back within five minutes. Sessegnon to Son. And again, it's a brilliant block on Harry Kane. But it deflects straight off Ike Nuri to David Neres. 1-1. One, one. It's okay. It's alright. Don't worry about it. We're used to this sort of stuff. We're used to this sort of stuff happening to us. We have had some good fortune this season, to be fair. I'm the first to admit that. As Jimenez's header drifts wide at a post. There's more goals in this game. I mean, I'd be totally fine with a final whistle coming in half an hour in. But there's more goals in this one. There's no doubt about it. Five minutes to go until half-time at North London. And it's Young Min Son is tackled by Semedo. <laughs> Spurs are going to win a penalty with just over four minutes of normal time to play in the first half. It'll be a VAR, but we know it's given. Oh dear. Oh dear. If there was ever a game that summed up this series, I think it's going to be this one. Harry Kane versus Patricio. Bottom corner, never in doubt. Spurs flip the script. And we've gone from leading to trailing. We're bottling up. A deflected goal and a VAR penalty. I mean, if there was ever a game that summed up this series, it's this one. We've got 45 minutes to keep us in the Champions League. So I'm going to say to the boys here, do I throw the water bottle? Absolutely not. Hands together. You've been unlucky so far. Second half to come. No change to tactics. We've done all right. We're still in this, boys. It's not over yet. I knew for sure, even when we went one goal up through Trincao, Spurs were going to come back at us straight away. And it's, oh, Young Min Son makes it 3-1, 37 seconds into the second half. We bottled it. Well, we can't say Liverpool didn't do us a favour on the weekend, but unfortunately, we've done ourselves no favours. Semedo beaten probably a little bit too easily there by Young Min Son. Not had the greatest of games despite setting up the first one. Conceding the penalty and then getting beaten softly by the Korean. Oh, I think it's over. We, we need two goals in just over half an hour. And it might well be three if Neres oh, could bend one in. Spurs going for the kill now. Let's go attacking. And a shout to the boys and demand more. But with half an hour to go, 
I think it's over. Everton are beating Arsenal as well. Typical. That result means nothing. And finally, Arsenal is slipping up. 20 minutes to score two goals. They bring on Silva for Adama Traore as the inside forward there. Uh, Buendia's had a really, really poor end to this season. So I'm going to take him off for Bruno Jordao. And I'm going to change Forsby's role to box to box. And what I might as well do as well, I know we've been stung down the flanks a couple of times today, but we might as well lose the game 4 1 by chasing two goals. Push out Nuri and Semedo up to get more involved on the offensive end. But don't think it's going to matter. I think it's over. Season one, we bottled European football on the final day. Season three, we bottled Champions League football on the final day. FA Cup final season one, we bottled that if you want as well on penalties. Wolves, uh, just a bunch of chokers. It's Jimenez heads over. Oh, I can't believe it. God, I'm so gutted. Absolutely gutted. Spurs, you didn't need to do this. You're in the Europa League final. You've got the Champions League. But they said, do you know what? I don't care. I want to knock you out of it. That's it. It's over. But I'm not going to go harsh on my boys once again. The, the first two goals we conceded, incredibly misfortunate. The first one in particular. But it is over. Wolves on the final day. Drop out of the top four. Arsenal and Spurs have got Champions League football next season. Wolves drop in to the Europa League. Absolutely gutted. One season spent in Europe's Premier competition. We got to the semis, but that's as far as we'll go for now in the save. Into the Europa League for the first time. And like I said, you know what? It's it's not it's not catastrophic. It's disappointing, and it's really disappointing. We bottled it on the final day from a leading position as Jimenez wins his third straight golden boot with 31 this season. But it's disappointing. But it's not disastrous. We'll, we'll see how we do in the Europa League next year. And, and the season's not over yet anyway. Because we still got the FA Cup final against championship winners Brentford. Who are coming to the top fly next season as well. Put the disappointment behind you. And let's go win our first major honour of the save. It's not over yet boys. Pick yourselves up. But that was this episode of the FM Reboot guys. Big thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you have then please do drop a like. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you for the season finale. To try and put a disappointing collapse on the fun day behind us. With Brentford in the FA Cup final. Looking for the silver lining. As we go for our first trophy to save. Much love. And I'll see you for the finale. Very soon.